Hey guys, this is Chris here again, and today I'm doing another Wild Eye releasing uh, video review. And today's video is a movie called Sharkenstein. And um, yeah, I mean, the cover of it looks really cool. It looks like a lot of fun, but the movie is entirely different than what the cover makes it out to be, uh, sort of. Like, you kind of get a gist of what it would be just by the title alone, Sharkenstein. But um, it, it follows, uh, well, it shows off that there's this um, these three people on like a vacation. And they're just going to go out on their friend's boat and just have fun on their boat. Just relax and enjoy the time. Uh, meanwhile, there is this scientist who's like a Nazi scientist. And he took the brain of Frankenstein, or the brain of Hitler, the heart of Frankenstein, and the body of a shark. And put all these things together and created Sharkenstein. And it runs through the waters of the area that they're at, and it's controlled by the actual scientist. He, like, I don't know, he voices his over a radio, and the shark hears him or understands what he's saying and uh, does what he tells him to do, goes where he tells him to go. And it just attacks everybody in this local area, and he's just trying to make this uh, unstoppable creature. Well, these three people on the boat, they somehow find the island where this is happening at, and they get forced to help the guy out. Um, meanwhile, the shark is just swimming around killing people. And then it makes its way on land. The shark actually walks across land. And it is some of the most ridiculous stuff I've ever seen. Like, not fun ridiculous, but just like stupid ridiculous where I don't see how somebody looked at this and said this is entertaining. Um, I, that's what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like so stupid that it was funny, but it just wasn't at all. The effects were bad. Um, I'll, I'll post a, a picture here to show you what the, the shark looks like on land. It looks like somebody, like, shot up the shark with steroids. And uh, and it's like this plastic little toy model of a shark that's, like, superimposed over the video. And it just looks so ridiculous that it's not even, like, funny to laugh at it. It's just, like, funny, poor, like, like you just, oh, God, you just shake your head at it. Um Shark and sign, yeah, but there's this one scene in it where there's like a porn star or a, a retired porn star and the shark attacks her and gets on top of her and she enjoys it and it is one of those moments I just, I couldn't believe I saw that uh, that happened in the movie and uh, it's just so bad. Um, there's no reason why I would recommend this movie um, and I mean... Not even for people who are a fan of shark movies or killer killer fish movies or anything. Maybe out of curiosity to see how bad it is, that'd be the only reason I could ever recommend it. But for pure entertainment, stay away from it. It's boring. There's not a lot that happens in it. It's just something that it was just there. So it's just nothing rememberable about this at all, hardly. So that is Sharkenstein from Wild Eye Releasing. Cool cover, not a good movie. See you guys.